Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 64. So, in the last episode, we did a lot of side stuff. We got some, uh, star pieces and other things out of the way. And we did a huge side quest that I'm not quite so happy about. But we got a decent reward out of it. All the same. This time, we're actually coming here to do something, uh... To do some stuff that I've had planned for a little bit, as well as some stuff I had missed earlier on. So a huge part of this episode, for me at least, will be gathering materials, because I'm going to show you every recipe in the game. In addition to gathering materials, I will be grabbing a few star pieces that I've missed that I had to... Well, at first I was trying to cross-reference the list and say, what have I done, what haven't I done, because it took me forever. And then I realized there's a person who would be very useful, so I'll bring you there. And we're here to see the beautiful... Oh, my, my, I first saw your arrival, Mario. My nickname is my lovely. I'm a stunning fortune teller. My noble calling is to read fortunes more than absolutely rapture. I can help you find what you seek. My twinkle star here will show me all that's hidden. My, my heart. Tell me, shall we your fortune? I will not have her read the fortune, our fortune at the moment, since I actually want to show some of the stuff that I figured out. I found out almost all the star pieces we've missed, as well as the two super blocks, and I have a full list of badges, because that's just something I could only really call cross-reference to a list. It was not difficult, but all the same. I'm gonna go grab a bunch of the stuff, I'll be right back. The first super block is actually in this little pipe right here. I forgot about it when I was over here grabbing the star piece before. And here it is. What is this? You can upgrade the party members. Uh, Bo or Lacky Lester? I don't think it really matters so much as just for the order. Well, Lacky Lester, you're cool. I think Bo deserves her upgrade now. She's been with us too long without getting it. And also, to be fair, this Bo's return cool looking on it. Hey guys. <clears throat> uh, voice crack. Now, so we got. Did you just go shop on me? So guys, what I was trying to say was a lot of the stuff here that I'm actually missing is here in the shop. multi button balance I don't have on this file due to the fact that, remember, a bunch of stuff failed for me and I had to replay the game. So I never bought this. I also never got the D-Down Pound or the Super Smash Charge. So when I get money for these, I'll be going through and buying these. I'll be earning the money as I'm going around grabbing all the badges, uh, star pieces, and other things I've used throughout the game. I'll also be getting some money through some other means. I will be showing off a good money making uh, thing in just a bit, but I'll show you that one when I get there. Alright guys, it should be mentioned that since I am doing the recipes this episode, I'll show this off. You need any eggs? Get them right there. Yeah, it's really that simple. I know it showed off at the beginning of the world toy when I first came in that rocket, but you know, worth mentioning now. Be your best. First one I've missed, damage dodge was gotten right up there, but I didn't have Paracure when I dropped by here, and I forgot to drop back by here. So that's the first star piece I missed. Be right back guys. Alright, another thing I missed. Do you get this tree after Colorado leaves? You get a letter to Goompa, Goomba Village. Dried fruit. Alright, time to open the letter. Even out here we have stories of your remarkable deeds. Keep up the good work! You're Goomba, correct? The name's Paracare. I do have letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter, duly delivered. Of course, my job is never done. Now, what could this be? Koopa Koop? Eh, I have a bad feeling about this, so I'll read it later. It's probably the old Koop's usual backstabbing gossip. He really needs to get out more. What's the point of sending all these gossipy letters, huh? I know they're pretty busy. I know you're pretty busy, so thanks for delivering this. Why don't you take this as a token of my thanks? You gotta start this. That was one of the ones I've missed. Now, show off the rest in just a moment. Also, of course, you can get goom nuts from this tree. I don't know how I did it, but I missed the star piece here. I think I got it. Got to the point up at Gusty Gold, screwed something up, and had to replay this part. But I really missed out on that one. It didn't show it during my missed uh, collage or anything. 
because I didn't know I'd missed it until I talked to him or lovely got some information out of her. While I'm here, let's drop in and buy some things from the shop. Alright, multi alert and bounce is a nice badge, so let's pick this up. Really, we can buy all three, so there's no real reason to be stingy. And sleep stop. Also, you may notice that guy in the background, once again, he's part of the montage and not part of this video. Jump charge. Alright, another badge you can buy from your shop. I can already see what those two are, but really those have no meaning to me right now, and I can't afford them, so, you know, great. Off to flower fields for two star pieces we missed. Don't know how I missed this. We're right back here, you just... Oh yeah, right. I don't know how I missed this, but you just come right back here. I think I get stuck falling in this hole. Where? What the? Oh. Ow? I was like, whoa, I'm floating. Is there a path there? Now, I remember. This is why I missed this. I forgot that if you fly across this gap right here, then you can get that right there. I don't know how you're supposed to know to do that, but I forgot about it, and then Lovely's like, oh, hey, you're stupid, and I'm like, oh, oh, I forgot about that one, that's the one I missed on my first playthrough through the entire thing until I talked to you, oh, another amazing way to get money, quite amazing daisies, are crazy daisies, I don't know which ones these are, Oh yeah, and there's another star piece right there. Guys, literally. Blueberry! Star piece. I don't know how I missed it, but I did. Fantastic. First thing we're gonna be making, just throw a yellow berry in. Oh. I didn't mean to eat it. I'll have to go get another one in a minute. Oh, it's Mario! Hi there, would you like me to cook something? Uh, sure. Actually, you don't even need a yellow berry because everyone knows that blue is the best color, so. Do you have to use another ingredient? No. And I shall cook with the blueberry heart. I hope you have something special just for you, honey. It'll be fabulous. Just a moment, heart. Tra la la la, heart. Here you are, heart. This recipe's not too bad. Here, please, heart. A super soda. Super Sota. Now, if you use a lemon and a cake mix together, and I should cook with lemon and cake mix, heart. Apparently, it's just not too bad. But we get a lemon candy. 5 HP, 15 FP. A pretty good item to have. Now, if you cook a goom nut and a volt shrimp together, you could have used a super shroom or a bunch of other things. I just felt like just buying a bolt shroom since it was there. Pretty much a super shroom, ultra shroom, bolt shroom, or life shroom could have been used for this. And you get a life shroom from it. Not sure why you'd put a life shroom into the recipe to get a life shroom out of it, but I guess that's one way to get the recipe done if you want to. If you use the cake mix and the life shroom together, and then you get the sweet shroom. 30 HP, 20 FP. Fantastic item, worth it. Especially since I showed you how to make a really cheap uh, life shroom right there. Now, if you use a volt shroom and a dried fruit together. Okay, I'll finish. I don't exactly know what it is, but some experience turned out to be great. Here, please. Yeah, it really got you a Thunder Rage. It's not even a food item, she's not really sure what to say about it since it's not a food item. You can just use dried pasta all by itself. Spaghetti. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fair, dried pasta would be able to be turned into pasta. Lemon cake mix. Lime candy. If you use a fire flower all by itself. 
It will give you the spicy soup. If you take a goom nut and a mushroom, then you get the vulture. Nice item, especially if you want to make those life shrooms and then make them into the uh, the 50 coin cakes, I'm going to call them. If you take a maple syrup and a vulture, then you get the maple super, 10 HP and 10 FP. Definitely good item. If you take a life shroom and a dried shroom, you get the shroom steak. 30 HP, 10 FP, not bad. If you combine a stinky herb with an egg, you get the boiled egg. If you use a cake mix, and a yellow berry together, then you get a big cookie, giving you 20 FP. If you combine a cake mix, with a vulture, you get an electropop. If you take a mushroom and a fire flower, you get the hot shroom. 15 HP, 5 FP. If you give her a super shroom and a gem and jelly, which I would never do this, but I need to show it off for recipe's sake. Here you are, the recipe's not too bad. The Jelly Super 10 HP 50 FP. A really good item, but it's better if you use the Jam and Jelly Super things like this. An Ultra Shroom. And a Jam and Jelly. The Jelly Ultra 50 HP 50 FP. The best healing item in the game, in my opinion. Or at least close to. I think there might be one or two that considered better, but this thing's just gonna be a because just cover everything. And if you combine a maple syrup with a mushroom, you get the maple shroom. Now, if you take a dried shroom with nothing else, you get the fried shroom, a much better item. If you use a honey syrup and a yellow berry, you get the tasty tonic. If you use a cake mix and a mushroom, then you get the shroom cake. 10 HP, 10 FP. If you combine cake mix and maple syrup, then you get a, co a cookie cookie. God, I love that name. Now, if you combine an egg and a mushroom, then you get the bland meal. It's about as interesting as it sounds. If you combine cake mix and honey syrup, you get honey candy, 20 FP, definitely use the item. If you combine cake mix and a fire flower, a fire pop. A hot lollipop made by Tasty restores 20 FP but uses 1 8th HP. Good at English. Grab another egg. If you combine an egg with a fire flower, then you get an egg missile. It is exactly what it sounds like. I'll show that off in battle soon. If you come up here next to the toad house, you can get a coconut right here. Not that useful an item, but good for cooking. Dang. If you talk to this yellow Yoshi, and trade it one of the items that you cooked from Tasty, in this case for me, the bland meal, since it's bland, Oh, thank you, Heart. It's so good. Oh, yeah, here, why don't you take this as a thank you from me? It grows in a place that only I know about. Trust me, it's good. A melon. An absolutely fantastic item you can only get from this Yoshi. It's kind of a dick move. Because he's being such a jerk, I'm going to poison him a little bit. Give him a fire pop so he takes damage. Sure, it'll make him like more energetic, but it'll hurt him a little bit. That's all I care about. Alright, so if you check this bush, it'll have a strange leaf in it. Alright, I'm gonna stop by the shop here. Freaking Really? Chuck Quizmo's in the background again? Ugh. Well, I'm gonna buy all these badges. 
the D down pound, the double dip, which I already have the triple dip, so this is unnecessary, but okay. And the Mega Quake. This is a really nice one. As you can see, there went all that money I thought I'd be able to keep. No. Oh, it's Mario. Hi there. Would you like me to cook you something? Sure. I will use the mystery item that I bought. I bought a few of these for a few reasons. I would not like to use any other ingredients. Mystery all by itself can cook a lot of different things, since it's a mystery what's inside the bag. So she's just going to open up, pop it inside, and go, mm. Oh, okay, I'll finish. I don't know exactly what it is, but experiments turn out great. Super soda. Oh, okay, that thing I already made. <laughs> okay, what else do I get from uh, buying these mysteries? They cost one coin each, so... No, I would not like to do that. They cost one coin each to make, so uh, I mean to buy, so they're not expensive at all. I would not like to use anything else. This is just a little bit of experimenting to see if I can get one of the better items that I haven't used my already current items. Okay, I'll finish. I know exactly what it is. Oh, it's spaghetti. Okay. I don't know how you don't know what that is, but alright. Oh. Well, I guess it had to happen eventually. We made a mistake. Mistakes are... Here, I'll show you. 1 HP, 1 FP. This doesn't look very good. Honestly, if I had thought about it, I would have made them, I would have done this first and then gave them the mistakes to that one Yoshi on the island because, you know, no one likes that Yoshi. He's a jerk who hoards all the melons. Melon Hoarder! Now, if you combine a dried fruit and a strange leaf, it turns into a fire flower. Don't ask how that works, I'm not quite sure either. Now if you use a melon, and nothing else, she always has such a discontent look on her face. You get the special shake. A smoothie made by Taste Heat. Honestly, that looks delicious. If you use a strange leaf, all by itself. Then you get the Dizzy Dial. Not an item I actually use ever, but, you know. Also, all that voice cracking, though. Okay. If you use Cake Mix, with a coconut, you get a Cocoa Pop. I'm not sure how you get a Cocoa Pop from a coconut, considering the fact that chocolate isn't made from coconut, but whatever! If you use Cake Mix, with a strange leaf, you get a strange cake. This electrifies Mario, turns him transparent, or makes him sleep. I... To, I, I love a random chance cake, that's awesome to me. I'd be stuck with every day. If you mix cake mix with a melon, then you get a Yoshi cookie. It even looks like Yoshi's face. That is adorable. Alright. If you use a yellow berry with a strange leaf, you get a sleepy sheep. If you use a stinky herb, with a special shake, you get a fantastic item, healthy juice. If you go to sleep here... Uh... What? Wait, someone gave me a free ultra sh What? Excuse me? Excuse me? I did not know about this. I had no inkling that that would happen. Whatever. I don't need the mushroom. I need the iced potato, though. So I'll get rid of this mushroom, since honestly I don't need them. If you use an iced potato... ...with a fire flower... 
You get frozen fries. If you use an ice potato, all by itself. If you use a goom nut, all by itself, you get the nutty cake. If you combine shrimp steak and potato salad, then you get... Do -do -do -do. The Deluxe Feast. 40 HP and 40 FP. This item is fantastic. If you combine spaghetti with potato salad, you get... The Yummy Meal. 20 HP, 20 FP. Not bad, not great for this point the game, but it would heal most of your HP and FP, as you can see from my level. If you come in this room and spin jumping crates, you can get an apple on them. If you use a Koopa Leaf and nothing else, then you get the Koopa Tea. If you use the Cake Mix and the Apple, then you get the apple pie. If you use an ultra shroom and a maple syrup together, then you'll get the maple ultra. Now, if you combine a Koopa leaf with dried pasta, do -do -do -do, then you get the Koo pasta. Restore 7 HP and 7 FP. Not that good of an item, honestly. If you drop by the shop here, then you can spend 150 coins to get another damage dodge. Alright. You can buy the FP plus badge here. And the HP plus badge here. Oh, buddy, I'm cleaned out. Got nothing more to sell. You were one serious repeat customer, bud. I can practically retire now. This town is real nice, but I think I'll take a trip. Thanks, bud. You're the man. And just like that, we've bought all the uh, badges from the shop. Luckily, I did not need to sell the uh, uh, shrooms that I had gotten. I will be using them in the final area of the game. 41 star points. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, I guess I'll raise my HP. And it did not drop the item I wanted. So guys, if you kill an Amazy Daisy, you can actually get a Gem and Jelly or an Ultra Shirt. The problem is that Amazy Daisies are incredibly rare. I've spent the last like 20 minutes looking for them. While I'm here, if you pass that flower, you'll hear some sniffling. And if you throw this blueberry in this well... <laughs> Who's throwing stuff into my well? Huh? This is a blueberry. I love these, thank you. I'll give you this to you in return. And you get the Flower Saber Badge. During battle, it saves 1 FP every time you attack. That's fantastic. If you come up here and hit this block 100 times... After 100 times, hit the block and you get an Ultra Shroom. And if you come all the way back here, you can get a Gem and Jelly. This is near the entrance to uh, Mount Lava Lava. Egg Missile. It's really just a hand grenade. <laughs> I'm Simon, I'm Ryman, to folks who know it, I'm the master poet. Poor Pop Diva cannot sing, but my lyrics are just the thing. If my lyrics really rock, her Pop Diva will be cured of shock. I'm tragically stuck though, cause my last line's a no-show. Later, Pluminator. Thank <laughs> you. 
If you mix a jam and jelly with cake mix, you get the jelly pop. If you mix a mushroom with the jam and jelly, you get the jelly shroom. And finally, if you mix an ultra shroom with a honey syrup, you get the honey ultra. Not a good use of an ultra shroom, but whatever. With that, I've shown off all 50 recipes, 49 in this video, and 50 in total, the last one being the cake that you're required to make to, you know, progress in the game. You have to give that to Gourmet Guy. Now, I'm gonna jump around and grab a few badges, and I'm gonna be done for today. If you come back here- oh, that final right line just jumped in my mind. Sit tight, O Pullman Knight. The race is won. Now I'm done. I'm not really one to boast, but town I've got the most. Now to my lyrics. Raise a toast. Cha-ching! Pop Diva will now sing. Uh, but I'm afraid I just can't sing without any music. Uh, oh, dread and dear. My mind wasn't clear. Lyrics aren't the only thing Pop Diva needs again to sing. Without music, it's quite clear. This diva's voice, well, none will hear. Hmm, what should I do? What shall I do? Who can pair my lyrics and music to? I know who! I heard a rumor that somewhere is a composer beyond compare. Special powers this music brings, can it help the diva sing? Mario, I'm on my knees, won't you help me, pretty please? Here, take this and go, find the music, save our show! So, you're supposed to ask around and figure out where you're supposed to go with this, but I already know, so I'm just gonna leave you straight there. And I'm not gonna cut away this time just because I actually wanna talk for a moment. I should mention that I've been, uh, it's been like four days since I last recorded. Uh, I was doing all the recipe stuff, and then I had to go clean up, and I never got a chance to get back to it. And then a couple days ago, I did a, uh, volunteer work at a horror house, and I threw out my voice pretty much. So if I sound weird, that's the reason. I'm kind of recovering right now, I've been drinking a lot of, uh, things with honey and lemon juice and things to try to help my voice. And now we're here. A composer, yes, that's me. I write songs, as you can see. <laughs> I like making songs up as I go along, if you bring in the lyrics. Hmm? What's this, then? Well, uh-huh. Fantastic, these are incredible lyrics. The wording is simple, yet whoever wrote them pa packed them with powerful feeling. It's been a long time since I was moved by so something so deeply. They get moved me so much, I just thought of beautiful music to accompany them. Wait just one second. Perfect. Woo, I've written the perfect music for these lyrics. I caution you know that this music can be sung only by an expert. I know of none who have the task. Here, take, the take my masterpiece. Now that we have a melody, we can bring it back to them. But yeah, I've just been recovering the past few days. I wasn't feeling what to begin with, and then I did that, and it was kind of stupid. I was thinking a couple days that I might do the horror house again, but I might have to pull it off just because I don't want to throw up my voice for a few more days. At least not over the weekend when I just want to be finishing up this game. I'm going to have to figure it out, though. You talked to him again? Oh, say it's so. That, that's music? No. Hmm. Oh yes, 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 it's the best! With this music we rejoice, for it will give us... give... <coughs> Pop Diva voice. Now, Chantelet, 
Chanterelle. Please do tell, will you sing this new song? Come now, we can't wait long. Oh, it's perfect, so beautiful. But what if I can't sing it? Hey, hey, it'll be okay. You can do it, nothing to it. Be courageous, sing it loud, war or roll on, sweet and proud. Yes, I will try to sing. Oh, okay. Bravo, hear, hear, this sweet song has brought me to tears. To Mario, our greatest thanks, because of you, Pop Diva Cranks. I can sing, la dee. Over, I'm overjoyed, I thank you. You saved me, Mario. I wish I could do more, but here's a small gift. Please treasure it. Attack FX and D badge. The final attack FX badge. I'm actually going to equip that right now, because I like having them all equipped. The cool sound effects are just nice. Alright. And have them all quit now. In top of this castle, if you head all the way up here and push this clock out of the way, there's actually a hidden badge up here. Head in this room, open up that drawer, take out Paracarry, and just fly across. Just fly across this uh, gap. You can grab all these coins, but what's actually important? Important. Important. It's if you look at the thing, it looked like an arrow pointing this direction. And you can get the Mega Rush badge. When Mario's in peril, his attack power goes up by four. And I don't use this badge personally, but there are strategies that are, are really good that use it. What you do is you use badges that make it so that enemies can't attack you, and then you bring yourself down to uh, one HP. You use abilities that make it almost impossible, or sometimes absolutely impossible, to hit you along with a bunch of badges that lower the chance of people hitting you, and then you can just wail on them with heavy attacks, dealing up to like 50... Mm -hmm. I think the most damage I've ever done in one turn was something like 30 damage in one turn, and it was really good. I'll see you guys in just a minute. Toad Tail News! Shiver, Shiver Sensation! Mario's Master Crystal Palace! War... Wario. Mario went to the Shiver region to look for the last star spirit and discovered the legendary crystal palace at the top of Shiver Mountain. This palace is said to have been built in dedication to the star spirits. Bowser's evil followers, however, had taken it over. Mario put those goons on ice and saved the last star spirit. Now with all of the star spirits together, they're on their way to Shooting Star Summit. It's finally time to head for Bowser's castle. Good luck, Mario! And... Stars, it's a heart. Now I can draw a... Thing. I love scribbling a little toad. Oh, okay. I realized I hadn't shown that in absolutely forever, so that is a thing. Besides that, I also want to show off the post office. Come in here and talk to him. Ah, yes, Mario. Yes, yes, hello. Well, uh, it seems that you have received some mail. Which letter would you like to read? Cooper? Cooper's fan. Oh, this should be good. Here you go. Dear Cooper, I must apologize for sending a letter out of the blue, heart. I thought I had to. I saw you walking toe town with Mario. You seem so strong and brave, so dashing, heart. If it's okay, I'd really love to have a talk with you. Oh, heart, how embarrassing, heart. I'll write to you again soon. Good luck, brave Koopa, your fan. Would you like to read more letters? Yes, I would. Bombette, let's see what you have for you. Bruce. The, the bomb we met inside of Koopa Village. <sighs> Here we go. Bombette! I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you! I love you, 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 I love you. Please understand how I feel. I love you! You're Bruce. Yeah, he's crazy. Never get back together with him, Bombette. Mother. What's mother? Here you go. 
want. Thanks to the stars that you're safe. I was so worried. When he first disappeared, we went, we were completely baffled. Nobody would help us, and we couldn't find a clue. Then we went to tow down and heard news about the toy box. I was pretty sure you'd be okay in there for a while, but I was still worried. Please give me my deepest thanks to those who saved you. Come home soon. Your mother. Oh. Well, your mother was worried about you. That's good. Sushi. Sashimi. <laughs> Sushi's daughter. I forgot about this. Here you go. Dear mom, first thing I heard you were lost in that jungle, then I heard you were traveling with Mario. Don't do anything dangerous. Come back quickly as you can. I'm waiting for you. You're gonna be a grand sheep. I want you to... I want to see you... I want you to see the small fry. Your daughter, Sashimi. Alright, and now, finally, Lackluster. I wonder who it is. First one from Wacky Lou, the person I thought. Here we go. Dear Lacko Esther, where are you? You'd better be a good lucky to return soon. I'll be th faithfully waiting for you near the wise Wisterwood. If you don't come back, I'll search for you until the end of time. I'll give you such a, st a spiny storm that you'll... <sighs> I'm sorry, love. I get mad when I worry. Heart, you're lucky, Lou. Lucky, Lou. Yeah. And flight. Here we go. Dear Spike, your t you turncoat, you're hanging around with Mario. Never forgive you, you big traitor. I heard that your real name is Lacky Lester too. I never heard such a silly name. I'm gonna call you Lacky Lester from now on. The only way you could ever earn my respect now would be to beat Lord Bowser. Yeah, right. Do that, and I'll forgive you. Flight of Team Lakitu. Oh, okay. And that's all the letters that we have at this point in the game. So guys, we do have a little bit more to do, but I think I'll do that next time. So next time on Let's Play Paper Mario 64, we're going to get into really the final thing we're going to be doing in the game. There's a few features in the game I want to show off, and a huge annoying side quest that I've been postponing until the last minute, because I didn't want to do it. Also, we need to get the last, uh, I think there's something like 70 more, 60 more star pieces that we haven't gotten due to the fact that I have Chuck Quizma's quizzes do the star pieces that I get from that side quest I mentioned, as well as I think one more that I'm missing that I'm going to have to find. So guys, we'll get all that next time. See you then!